Okay, this will be a video chart on QEDN, QED Connect Incorporated. I uh, did this one when the chart looked like that, and the reason I did it was just because uh, two reasons. One, the volume uh, was way above average, came out of nowhere, and second, uh, being it's a triple zero stock, it did show it can move uh, with this move up to triple zero four uh, from triple zero two where it had closed the day before. Uh, this movement here uh, just told me that hey, you know, the, the potential is there for a bigger move because it's showing that uh, you know the bulls can at least get some upwards uh, push here. Uh, so this was a few days ago when I did it. Uh, you can see here it made a new high, and then it started to form a higher base here at triple zero three. And then on Friday, uh, just a very nice day. And the one thing to keep in mind about this volume is Friday was a shortened day. So the market wasn't even open its full time yet. It almost put in as much volume as the previous two days. Uh, so had it been a full day, um, I'm pretty confident that you know the volume bar would have probably gotten up this high or so at least. Uh, but regardless, uh, you know the price had a big move from where it closed at 0005. Uh, with a nice close up here at triple zero eight. So um, first off, just a congratulations to anybody that uh, watched uh, the video uh, the first time I did it, and you know accumulated some shares in this area. If you got any at triple zero three or triple zero four, uh, you know you're now up a possible hundred percent. So a uh, good job uh, to you if anybody did that. Uh, but what I want to do now is just get things updated since the chart does deserve an update. Um, it's you know clearly shown that. Uh, volume is remaining strong, uh, but more importantly, uh, the price is continuing to move up. So the video is not going to be anything uh, huge or groundbreaking, uh, just more of an update of um, the support and resistance levels and so forth. So scanning back here, you can see that um, here it has had some previous price movement. Um, this has been a long time ago, uh, but really just from a resistance standpoint, the next uh, key resistance is going to be up here at triple zero one. Uh, two reasons, and to be honest, I can't remember if I went over this in the previous video or not, so I'll just uh, scan over it real quick. First reason, uh, double zero one is always a uh, resistance just uh, because it's a psychological one moving from triple zeros to the double zeros. Um, but then also, if you look here, you can see that there's been quite a few highs here from back in uh, late 2008 and then early 2009. Uh, with the price bouncing up against there. So um, there has been some previous price history um, up around this area. So double zero one is going to be a key um, resistance. And then after that, there will be a resistance up here right around uh, 0.0014. And I'm getting that from looking right here. You can see there's a couple days there where the uh, high, high bounced off it. And then actually then there's one day there. Uh, this day got close. This day was able to get above, but couldn't close up there. Uh, so, for the near-term resistance levels, we have one at once again at double uh, zero one. Let me change that to red, make it a little thicker, and then up here at double zero one four. So these are going to be our two uh, resistance levels in the future. Uh, but if the price does decide to pull back or go sideways a little bit, that's kind of what I want to uh, focus at for the time being. Um, let's see. move this over as you can see over here we had triple zero four act as a big support level so if you look at all this price action look how the price hung right up above triple zero four and then seeing that when it fell good example of supports becoming resistances then you look here and twice it knocked the price back down so over here it was support when it fell at this spot right here that's where it became resistance so this is going to be what I'm going to call kind of a very important uh, support level. If the price does fall down there, you really do want to see it hold. So I'm going to make that an extra thick green line. Uh, but besides that, what you want to see start to happen is just the usual uh, stair step, meaning um, let's say it does fall down. I'd say the lowest we want this stair step besides triple zero four is going to be this triple zero five. So if the price comes down here and then just starts to bounce along here, as long as it can keep you know this high up here, what it's going to allow us to do is build our stairs and get a nice looking stair step. You know, obviously we had triple zero one as a step, triple zero two only took a cu couple days, triple uh, zero three we had a couple days there, triple uh, zero four really didn't have any days, and then we skipped up there. So um, this needs to move down to triple zero four, but really the key becomes 
uh, in terms of support levels. We'll just call it kind of a zone here between triple zero four and triple zero five. Uh, these are the two levels that we need to see hold as support on any sort of pullback. Uh, yes, that would be a, a big pullback, but on the, that same token, that's why it, it should hold because if it pulls all the way back from where it is now, uh, the bulls should be thinking, "Wow, this is great prices. I want shares at these levels," and there should be plenty of uh, bid support down here. Um, if there's not, that's one of those things where you have to scratch your head and think, "You know what's going on? There should have been." Um, you know support around here why the price just fall through there but who knows you know this might not even get tested but what I'm pointing out is just that you know I think this is the uh, area here between triple zero five and triple zero four uh, that needs to hold strong as support so I'll just shoot out a support line there too and we'll call this our little support zone so that's where the chart stands now um, you know once again a really good day on Friday uh, hopefully Monday uh, will be an even bigger day in volume, uh, but we will just have to sit back and see. If you do have any other questions on the uh, chart, please shoot me a message. I'd also encourage you encourage you to go to bullwarriorsstock.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you will be sent a free ebook, and with your subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, everything from big boards on a penny stock. So there's a good variety, something for everybody. And best part is it's all free, uh, so it's definitely worth at least checking out. One more time, this was QEDN. Thanks for listening.